You know, living in an RV isn't all fun and games. We have some things that we do just like you, only differently. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Maureen. Gary's outside getting things hooked up and getting ready to go to the dump station. That's one difference right there. When you put water down your sink or in your toilet, you flush it, it's gone. But for us, it goes into a tank and we have to empty that. Actually, there's three in this one. We have one in the kitchen and then we have one in the bathroom and then we have the toilet. So the the shower and the sinks go for the bathroom go into a gray tank and the one in the kitchen goes into a smaller gray tank and those both have to be emptied plus the black tank is the poo tank so we have to get rid of um, that about every eight nine days since we've been here you can hear Gary putting the stabilizers up right now that's what that noise was I have to make sure there's some things very much secured every time we move so like for instance, before he unplugged it, I needed to make sure that the hot water heater was off because when we're plugged into electricity, we use the electric water heater. Otherwise, we would be using the one that's by battery. The goal is to make sure that things don't move. So I just kind of go around and double check, kind of popping things down, making sure that it's nice and secure. Um, I always check the clock and anything else that can move. I just won't. These things are all stationary. They're on command hooks. We moved Trixie over here for, for the Christmas season right now. And the bird, I have to put him away. And I have to put Mr. Turtle and my driftwood from Oregon. I have to put that down on the floor. They ride very well there. It seems like a lot of work, but it really only takes a few minutes to do everything. I'm going to put the water down on the floor. So anything that's not secured goes under the table. Our briefcases, the computers, all kinds of things just go down on the floor. Down below. I now have a basket here for some of our fruit, so that should stay there okay. That shouldn't move too much. I'm kind of trying to hurry over because I know Gary wants to get going, so I'm doing this in a hurry. But just giving you an idea of how we kind of have to cushion things and make sure they don't bounce around too much. This lid comes down. So now the lid is down. Spices that I've been using all have to get put back. I kind of don't always put them back where they belong right away. These are extra. Just stick them in there. Okay. There goes Gary again. <laughs> okay, so everything is pretty well secured here. Double check the picture. Make sure that's where it's supposed to be. These go down here. I'm, I haven't got my backsplash up yet, but I do have the material to do it. So in the meantime, I've been putting these TV trays up there that I really like. And now I'm just going to put these down below. A lot of stuff goes under the table which is fine because then it's real easy to get it up again when we get back. The bathroom is really easy. The only thing I need to do is make sure that everything is latched and that the medicine cabinet's latched. These, make sure they're stuck good. And then I just stick that in the sink and we're good to go in here. Make sure all the pumps and lights are off. Woo, there we go. <laughs> we lay the space heater down. And the fan, everything's unplugged. So we are good to go in here. Oh, but look what's on the door. Got to get that off. I was just getting ready to walk out, and I realized that this wasn't clamped down yet. So either we can put them all the way up. Doing this one-handed. Either we can put it all the way up while we travel, or we can clamp it down below. 
And the other one that's been open all week has been this one. Yep, it's swaying away here. I can't. I gotta do this. <laughs> I gotta put the phone down. One of the last things I do is I put the plant in here. I have command strips on the bottom of this. They're ready to go. I just haven't made up my mind yet where I want it to go in here because it's always changing with the light and everything. So this is our solution for now. I can move it around wherever I want. And when we travel, I just put it in here. Travel to This is the Lady Bird Municipal Park and Campground. There's some campers up there by the office area. And then there's a whole other section and a lot of park, ball diamonds and things like that. And another camping area down here. Most of these people are seasonals. And we've met some really nice people when we've been here. It's very close to this little airport, the Fredericksburg Airport, and we've been told that, that diner over there, that you can go in there and you can have like a, um, you know, go there for lunch or whatever, and you can see people that actually come in with their planes just to eat, and then they take off again. Kind of like what you do in a car. <laughs> anyway. They also have some very old, like World War II um, vintage planes in that airport as well. And every time we go there, there's somebody walking a dog, which makes me really happy. I get the puppy fix. <laughs> Today we met Angel and her people, Tom and Kathleen. We're back home again. And now we have the addition of putting away groceries. So now it's time to put things back again. Got the water up here already. So these all stayed where they were supposed to because they have the command strips on the bottom of them. All I have to do is just put this back and Mr. Turtle <laughs> and the plant. And I'm getting my seasonings ready. Get my seasonings back. Probably get my olive oil back down from here. There we go. There, now I'm set to for cooking again. Gary just never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> I get out and he backs up. I didn't even really guide him on this at all today. He just right exactly where they were supposed to go on these boards. We left the boards in the driveway and he just backed right up onto them and good to go. Took about maybe five minutes to get all settled this time after we dumped tanks. Crazy. I guess I should mention too that it's not for leveling purposes. The driveway here is really pretty level. It's because when it rains, it tends to have puddles sometimes in the in parts of the driveway. So it's just to keep the tires off out of out of any water if it happens to rain. So anyway, that's why we have them there. The wreath is back up. We are leveled. We have the tree plugged in. We've got the stabilizers down. Everything is back the way it was, and it takes about, including the unhitching, the stuff that I do in the inside while Gary's doing the stuff outside, maybe uh, 10 minutes, maybe 15, not so bad. So it's really quite quick. We've got it down to a science here. 
Anyway, so we are all ready to go and now the truck is parked up there and I'm going to sort laundry. Yay! One of the things that a stick and brick home has is a laundry room. And you probably have maybe hampers or something in different bathrooms or maybe um, around the house or in each bedroom or something. Well, we don't have that in our house and most RVs don't. So this is what I do. I use the tub. <laughs> the tub is our laundry baskets. And so when I have loads ready to go, I've got some bedding that I'm doing and some towels. So there's some bulk, bulky ones here today. And then my drying rack is in here. So it's always got something going on in here, but I can just cover it all up with, with the shower curtain. I got my laundry bags up there. So it works. We're not using the shower because we're using the shower in the house. And that's maybe a couple times a week. We'll take a shower in the house. We're washing our dishes in the house while we're here. And we are using the washer and dryer in the house, which is really nice. We don't have to go to a laundromat. So those are ways that we're conserving water in here. And that's why we only have to dump the tanks once every eight or nine days. I think today, this week we went, this time we went, I think this time we went 10 days. So that really helps us conserve a lot in here. And we're pretty conservative the way we use it in the house too. So we don't share everything we do every day with you in our day-to-day -day life because doing laundry and dumping tanks and grocery shopping isn't the most exciting thing. But we wanted you to see how it is a little different from the way you probably do it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And then next to it is a little bell you ring the bell, you'll be notified every time a new video comes up. Check out our Facebook page, Roads of Faith. And until next time, God bless.